It's the guy who gets up and actually acts like he wants to win. He gets up early. He's prepared. He has a game plan. He's focused. He doesn't just roll out of bed and say, oh, I hope today's a good day. If you do that, you're already at a disadvantage and you're already losing. If you want to be a winner in life, if you want to have a winner's mindset and be unstoppable, you have to prime yourself with that first hour of the day so that you can go crush it for the rest of your life. Let's go. If you're somebody that wants to be unbreakable, you want a bulletproof mindset, you want that unstoppable obsession over your goals, then pay attention. I'm somebody who's come from a broken home. Both my parents were heavy drug and alcohol addicts, right? I saw my mother overdose several times before the age of 10. My dad went to prison. My mom abandoned us. I come from a broken home and I battled addiction for 10 years myself. All of this before I ended up going to prison. At 23, I was facing life in prison. I thought it was all over. And I've been challenged every step of the way to rebuild my life to this point. I'm now 35. I have a seven-figure coaching business. I speak on stages all over the country sharing my story and my message. I have a beautiful family who I envisioned and prayed for all those years ago. And I want to share with you today what has been the one constant in my life that has enabled me to grow through my adversity, to overcome all my challenges, to never let those circumstances stop me or define me and how I've been able to truly create a life by design that I love. This is possible for you too. You can literally have anything that you envision for yourself. Any goals that you wanna obtain, any results that you wanna materialize in your life can be yours, but you have to focus on this one thing that I'm about to share with you. This is what I've never, ever broken on in my journey over the last 12 years, and that's my own personal development. You see, I have routines in my life that are non-negotiable. They're habitual. They're unbroken. No matter what's going on in my life, I get up early, I work out, I focus on my spirituality, I connect on a deeper level, right? I read and I write. I do that stuff every single day. And over the years, I've actually added onto my personal development regime and I've allowed myself to continuously grow because of this. But here's the thing, you guys. Back when I was using drugs and alcohol, back when I was playing the victim mindset and saying, poor me, I wasn't doing anything to break free of that stuck point, right? So when both my parents left and I was just in ruins and my whole world came crashing down on me, I actually made my situation worse by turning to drugs and alcohol, by hanging out with the wrong people, by doing nothing that would help build me up and move me out of that position. And that's what a lot of people do in life right now. If there's a financial crisis or business is slow or there's discord in your marriage, instead of doubling down on the actions that are going to move you out of that stuck point or that low point, you do things to try to escape and numb the pain. You drink more at night, right? Maybe you're on your phone more trying to check out. Maybe you're you know, seeking entertainment. You're seeking pleasure. You're not doing something that's going to help you to actually move forward. You're doing things that are going to keep you stuck. And for instance, when people are talking about a recession or your business is slow, and stress is mounting, and stress is higher and higher and higher. What do you do? You seek to remedy that stress by probably drinking or doing something to escape and check out. That's never gonna serve you, okay? You're not growing through those circumstances. You're actually sabotaging yourself, and you're failing to learn a lesson that's gonna help you later on in the future when you're in that same predicament. So what you have to recognize is you need daily non-negotiable actions that you stick to just like you do in a business. Just like you do in your business where you're organized, you have systems, you have to run your life the same way. And I'm gonna break down exactly what you need to start doing right now to grow and develop yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, and in all aspects of your life, okay? This is where you start. You start with the morning process, the morning routine. When you get up in the morning, it sets the tone for your entire day. Now, I didn't have a morning routine. I didn't know anything about this until I was locked in a jail cell. When they put me in that jail cell and I had absolutely nothing, I would wake up in the morning, and immediately I'd be confronted by negative thoughts, negative emotions. And initially they were winning. I was losing the battle, right? I would just give in to those negative thoughts, negative emotions, and I'd end up just sitting around all day dwelling in my sorrows. I realized very early, early on in that experience that I had to find some recourse. I had to find some habits, some routine, something that was going to help me to overcome that internal battle. And this is what you guys are all facing. Some of you on a grander scale, some of you on a smaller scale than most. But here's the thing, if you can't win that initial battle, you're not gonna be as successful as you want in life. So you need to get up early. This is what I started doing in my jail cell. So I'd get up before anybody else, four, 
5 a.m. and I just have time to collect my thoughts. I'd have time to connect on a deeper level, right? I had time to pray. I had time to meditate. I would journal. And I started doing these things every single day. And what I noticed is that you know, that morning process became like a buffer to those negative thoughts, those negative feelings, that negative energy that would just start plaguing me, right? When I would just pray and meditate and envision who I wanted to be that day, and I would just put the whole world on pause, and then I'd write out my thoughts, write out my feelings, write out who I wanted to be. Now I felt like I had some armor, right? Now I was ready and primed to go into that adverse environment as a, a more equipped version of myself. So then the next thing I would do, though, is I would work out. And working out would just totally stoke that inner fire. It would elevate me to the point where I didn't have fear, I didn't have doubts, I wasn't anxious, I had clarity, I had focus, I felt confident in myself, right? When you get your blood flowing every single day like that and you're, you're pushing yourself through something difficult, you don't have negative thoughts and feelings in those moments. You feel really good about yourself. And so why would you not do this every day? Because you go into the day as that person versus the guy who's already anxious, versus the guy who's already stressed out, versus the guy who's not really primed and ready to crush it in the day. And this is what so many of you are doing. You race out the door, you don't do anything to really prime your mind, your body, and your spirit to be successful that day, and then you wonder why you struggle and why you don't have the best results. It's because you're not having this morning process that's gonna elevate you. So if you're new to personal development, if you want one thing that you can start to do habitually every day, no matter what's going on in your life, that's gonna help you to grow through tough times, it's gonna help you to evolve drastically just when times are average, and it's literally gonna be the catalyst for success in all areas of your life, it's a morning routine. Get up an hour before you have to talk to anyone or do anything, at least 30 minutes. Give yourself a good 30 to 60 minutes. Get up and just sit there and be still. Be present in the moment. I like to sip coffee and just let my mind come alive. I think about my life. I think about my journey. I think about things that are important to me. You know, and all of a sudden, these ideas and thoughts start to emerge within me. Then I write them down. I write down what I'm feeling that day. I write down the man that I want to be, right? I make those aff affirmative statements like, I am going to be a good man for my family. I am going to be positive. I am going to be focused. I am going to be patient. Whatever I am feeling in that moment, I write it out. I bring it to life through those words, right? When you write something out on paper, now it's just not a thought or a feeling, but it's something tangible. You can see, you can touch it, right? It changes the way you process this information. And then the last step is going to work out. Working out is the catalyst. It takes all that energy that I've cultivated internally and channels it into a positive endeavor that leaves me feeling proud of who I am. On, at the end of that workout, I'm left feeling accomplished. I'm left feeling proud of who I am. I have momentum for the day. And then I go into my day and I attack my goals. Now, imagine the guy that does that every single day for five years versus the guy that's inconsistent or doesn't have a morning process. Who do you think is going to be more successful? Who do you think is going to have more control over their lives, over their emotions? over their daily endeavors. It's the guy who gets up and actually acts like he wants to win. He gets up early, he's prepared, he has a game plan, he's focused. He doesn't just roll out of bed and say, oh, I hope today's a good day. If you do that, you're already at a disadvantage and you're already losing. If you wanna be a winner in life, if you wanna have a winner's mindset and be unstoppable, you have to prime yourself with that first hour of the day so that you can go crush it for the rest of your life. Let's go.